Hi, I'm Val Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Thank you so very much for staying with me while I took a quick break. I told you I'd be back with a great guest. And I've got Dr. Harvey Kaufman. He's the Senior Medical Director, Head of the Health Trends Research Program for Quest Diagnostics. And he's here to tell us or maybe let us know that women and parents, they're bearing the brunt of the COVID-19 impact. He's going to give us more information. Thank you so much for being here, uh, Dr. Kaufman. Thank you, Valder. It's my pleasure. Okay. So, you know, some serious things are going on with COVID-19. First of all, I want to uh, get this message out once again, and I say this every day. You know, this is something that um, impacts all of us. You must wear a mask. You must wash your hands. You must social distance. If they're not in your immediate little family, don't invite them over. This is truly what we need to do. Am I correct or am I overstating the problem, Dr. Hoffman? Melder, you're right on. This is exactly the things we need to do until we have herd immunity, when we are protected throughout the communities across the country. So yes, you're right. That sounds good. So why are women and parents bear bearing the brunt of COVID-19? Well, uh, Velda, let me just roll back a little um, and tell you about the survey. We were guided by our mission to empower people to take actions, to take control of their health. So we collaborated with the Harris Poll and looked at a survey of over 2,000 adults across the spectrum, across the country, to better understand how people were responding, reacting to this catastrophic pandemic. And in the survey, women more than men express stress, more mental health, physical health issues, as well as financial strain. Women tend to be the caregivers in their nuclear and extended family, and they take care of others first. And what happens is they neglect their own care to their own peril and to those who love them. I think you're spot on that. Is that what the survey revealed? Tell me more from the survey. So the survey revealed that, and you refer to parents uh, in your conversation, and parents too. If we look at parents of children under the age of 18 who are in that household compared to other adults, the parents are more likely to have skipped routine visit, routine laboratory testing, vaccinations, and other health services. So parents were feeling the brunt because of changes in daycare, changes in school, being at home 24 seven, the lack of after school activities and play dates, are dealing with family issues and neglecting health of themselves and of their families. So are these, these groups that you're talking about, I don't know if the survey talked about it, are they readily trying to take COVID tests to see where they are or are they reluctant? People are reluctant. Our survey showed that 74% of people who thought they needed a test delayed or didn't get a test. And that's shocking because they're putting themselves at risk and they're putting everyone that they contact at risk in their family and in their community. And although they may not get sick, but they thought they needed a test, if they aren't getting sick, they can still spread an infection to others who can get very sick. And further, for that individual, if they don't get tested early and wait until they are in respiratory distress, they're more likely to end up in an intensive care unit and have worse outcomes. How are we to understand the, I keep talking to people, I'm only one voice, but how do we understand the, the severity and the seriousness, you know, of, you know, the, the impact of COVID-19 is all I can say. What do we do here? It's hard to avoid reality at this point. Um, the number of deaths continue to pile up at an increasing rate. And we need to recognize that there are things that we need to do. But we also don't need to be frozen with our fear. And so we need to overcome our fear with facts that there is safety in getting tested and seeing, seeking medical care, that one can have peace of mind. We have a great website, questdiagnostics.com slash peace of mind that provides good information. And recognize that there hasn't been a single person who's been infected because of seeking care. We need to empower people with self-care. 
that they can make the decisions to seek care when they need it and not wait for more severe illness to progress. One of the things I know, Dr. Harvey, is uh, people really respect their doctors. And what I mean by that, when you have conversation with them, they say, oh, my doctor said don't eat that. My doctor said don't do that. My doctor said. So is the medical community the key for getting people to understand and listen and to act? Yes. I mean, physicians and Dr. Fauci and others need to be the, the voice of reason and uh, provide leadership. Um, but we also need to take some responsibility ourselves. In our survey, an awful lot of people, two out of five Americans, were concerned that they may currently have an undiagnosed health condition. And one in three people with a chronic condition said that they got worse during the pandemic. So we need to reach out to engage with healthcare and seek the cure before things get out of control. So focusing on self-care and self-health, that's the key. And that, and that needs to be every day, even when we don't have COVID-19. Once this is subdued, that's a key to, to me, wealth. If you're not healthy, it doesn't matter how rich you are or how poor you are. You're just sick. Exactly. Um, without our, without life and with life depends on our health, our health depends on health care. And, uh, we're not there for others. We're not there for ourselves if we don't take care of our health. So we have the, the power, uh, to take that steps and we need to do that soon and not wait. Dr. Kaufman, you did this survey. Is the survey available for people to find out these key findings so they can maybe see it in writing? Absolutely. So we have information available on our website, questdiagnostics.com, and there's additional information at that same website slash peace of mind. Well, I want to thank you for the work that Quest Diagnostics is doing because I see you guys in such convenient places, <laughs> grocery stores. That I think that's a, a brilliant idea. I wish I would have thought of that. Uh, <laughs> you guys are doing great work during the pandemic, so I want to salute you on that. Thank you. And it's great that you're putting out the word in terms of what people need to do to stay safe, eat safe, exercise, do all the things that we always should be doing to remain healthy, uh, including engaging with the healthcare system. Thank you. And you said the key is on us. There are certain things that we can do. We have the power and people have to know that in a positive way, you have the power to mitigate your own health status. Dr. Kaufman, thank you so very much for being here. And once again, thank you for the great work your company's doing, Quest Diagnostics. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.